Hello, my name is Jay Ben Zion. I'm, uh, I would like to speak to you today on an important subject. Um, in, in, in the world of futurism studies, it, it, could, it could be said to be two kinds of people. Uh, scientists, in the sense of people who are um, practitioners of the scientific method. Uh, people, for example, uh, like um, uh, close associates of my friend Alexei, who will be presenting uh, additionally on this material, uh, who are um, actively studying um, uh, cryopreservation te uh, 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 techniques, or folks who are studying, for example, uh, the role of mitochondria in the, in the senescence of, uh, of, uh, of human cells. Uh, this is uh, important work. Then there are people um, in another class who I'm also very familiar with, uh, people who rather like myself, um, who are um, advocates for scientism. Uh, people who are uh, trend watchers, people who are uh, trying to understand uh, the landscape of futurism studies and what happens next uh, for all of us, how these important technologies uh, just described and so many others uh, will have a role in our lives in, in the coming years and decades. Um, and uh, in thinking about uh, uh, this role and in thinking about this um, um, uh, this set of ideas, it is perhaps important to consider uh, that we remain earthbound as much as possible in our thinking and be as discreet as we possibly can in the sense of, of, uh, of limiting um, uh, 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 how vague uh, we are in discussing these things. Uh, so a few ideas uh, that we should focus on, and uh, we could say that... Uh, um, uh, these are the uh, 11 uh, s important aspects uh, to talking about futurism um, uh, f for those who take an active interest in uh, uh, futurism studies. Um, it's important to understand uh, that the future is not one thing. It is not something static. It is a process, and it is in process, and this is something that is constantly uh, changing, so there is... Um, uh, the future is yet unwritten, as uh, as as we learned in uh, Terminator Two film, and uh, this is an important uh, important distinction. Uh, so people who tell you that they know the future, um, they might be selling you a bill of goods uh, because um, uh, even if they have a powerful predictive algorithm um, in their hands that's able to predict uh, some series of events uh, based on. Uh, 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 some something happening some months in advance, um, they are still going to have uh, a lot of open questions there. And uh, when it comes to the world of human affairs, there's nothing but open questions. Um, in, it, it, similarly, uh, we should say that um, in the future, things will be different. All things uh, being equal, um, uh, tomorrow is different uh, from today. Everything will change in the future and uh, we have to think in these terms, not always be comparing uh, what has happened in the past uh, to, um, uh, to where we are today. Um, I think of people who uh, like to uh, make points about, uh, for example, contemporary cyber wars, which has become a serious, uh, uh, a serious study in recent years. Uh, but some uh, armchair philosophers like to make points about cyber wars um, by referring to uh, military campaigns in ancient history, uh, these there might be some at, at times some similarities, but uh, these are not always the same. Uh, don't uh, necessarily let uh, ideas about the past um, uh, color uh, your thinking about what is to come. Uh, the future is happening faster in many ways, and um, in perhaps not uh, uniformly in the world of human affairs, uh, but certainly there are um, uh, again discernible patterns. Uh, uh, there. If you're listening to this discussion, I assume you're familiar with Moore's Law and um, exponential growth effects, um, But so I'll leave it at that. Um, um, even as, as alluded to a moment ago, uh, just because um, the future is accelerating um, and uh, both futurism studies advocates and uh, practical uh, uh, persons, those practitioners that I mentioned, um, uh, the scientific method uh, uh, should uh, consider that while we may see acceleration effects, 
uh, that is not going to be uh, evenly distributed across the world of human affairs. And uh, we need to consider uh, that. Um, that is why, in my view, um, discussions of income inequality and uh, many matters uh, 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 of similar kinds are important in discussing uh, futurism studies. Um, um, uh, uh, furthermore, in many ways, the future is here, um, but maybe just not uh, for yourself or everyone to a high degree. If um, you are a conspiracy theorist, uh, you've been pointing to uh, technologies um, uh, coming from outer space and uh, coming from uh, secret labs that are uh, uh, far more powerful than the things that we see um, um, uh, coming out in, in the marketplace. But even, of course, in, in, in more realistic terms, there are technologies uh, that are being developed for the marketplace uh, that are far beyond uh, those that we have today. Uh, so in that sense, we can uh, see what uh, the landscape of six years or so might tend to look like in, in many features, particularly relating to the hardware. Um, sometimes the software uh, can uh, be a, a little more amorphous. Um, uh, we have to consider uh, that um, we are there are going to be um, surprising cultural elements um, uh, in in those changes. Um, we have to consider the uh, what future shock is and how it impacts um, and how it impacts all of us. Um, I've I've uh, sometimes uh, joked with people that it's easier for most people uh, to imagine an asteroid. Uh, coming out of space and destroying all of Earth, uh, than to imagine something uh, like the technology that uh, Amazon uh, has uh, today and will increasingly have, as well as so many others, uh, wherein um, uh, uh, wherein uh, um, uh, 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 one uh, uh, one set of, of technologies, uh, a set of advanced algorithms, and um, and and the use of uh, of a great deal of automation. Um, this 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 level of technology could be used today uh, to create, for example, planned economies in some a relatively small country, an island nation, or something uh, such that the world has never seen. Um, now, um, people have a hard time imagining that this should be done. They have a pretty easy time imagining that uh, the Earth will be destroyed um, by zombies or an asteroid. Uh, so. Um, uh, we have to consider uh, how people tend to process this information, and we can refer to this as future shock. Uh, we um, uh, these surprising um, emerging emergent cultures uh, that we will see um, uh, uh, deriving from accelerating technology. Many people will be uh, surprised by them. There will be backlashes. We can predict that, um, not in form, but certainly. Uh, that uh, such things will occur uh, to a high degree across the course of the 21st century. Um, there is no talking about acceleration without talking about uh, the fact that we live in a networked world, um, and we must consider that uh, decentralizing forces de um, and, um, and um, uh, digitalization and uh, distribution of, of new technologies in, in new ways, the blockchain effect, uh, this uh, open society effect, uh, this is a defining feature of what we can expect to see um, and what we already see ac across this beginning of the 21st century and to a very high degree for the remaining um, part of the 21st century. Um, there is, of course, um, I am uh, representing as a presidential candidate, uh, um, the transhumanist party of the United States. And so I must talk a little bit about uh, these communities and the roles of, uh, of transhumanism, uh, post-humanism, and um, uh, the upgrading of the human form and this kind of connectivity as it relates to um, uh, a new kind of human. Um, this is uh, important important uh, areas for discussion. I can encourage you to uh, look for in quarter two of 2020, my book, uh, The Virtual World's Manifesto, uh, which uh, discusses the role of advanced algorithms and uh, mixed reality in, um, 
in 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 this in the marketplace and in this emerging culture. Um, uh, you have to think about yourself. Um, if you are able to think about these things, if you are willing to think about these things, uh, then uh, you will be better positioned uh, to survive uh, some of the more dangerous aspects of, aspects of this. Uh, but of course, you'll be far better positioned to profit um, uh, personally or um, um, enhance yourself. And um, uh, so you must think about what your role in the 21st century will be. You should become a futurist of uh, both of the kinds that I mentioned at the top of this talk, um, but particularly um, it, it behooves all of us uh, to think in these terms um, as, um, as advocates for scientism. Um, and um, uh, we have to um, uh, look also at um, uh, the statistics in this, in this world. And uh, this is an important uh, aspect that I will hand over uh, to, to others um, and uh, discuss um, uh, how ready we are uh, for uh, 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 these kind of things. In the Futurism Studies world, we often refer to the um, Kardashev scale, uh, but um, there are more practical metrics of the 20, 20th century kind, uh, like the uh, NASA technology uh, maturity level. And, um, and uh, we need to be able to uh, assess these uh, realistically. Um, also, this is a discussion for people in the world of startups. Uh, so we should talk about uh, what your organization's role is um, in uh, making the best use of advanced algorithms and, um, and emerging technology. Um, it, is, uh, it is important. And uh, you have to ask yourself, is it possible for you uh, to be a part of designing the future, or are you merely going to be reacting to it uh, like so many people unfortunately will? Um, and uh, uh, so I, I wanted to take just a few minutes and outline uh, some of the basic ideas that we will be discussing in this webinar. Again, my name is Jay Ben Zion. I'm the United States uh, presidential um, uh, candidate for the United for the Transhumanist Party, and I look forward uh, to interacting uh, with all of you at this event on uh, uh, January 18th, a uh, free online webinar. Uh, you can check out the link below.